approve of what's on the metamorphic rocks list um, for your notes, and we're going to talk about those. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to introduce some rocks and help you learn how to identify metamorphic rock types. And, uh, so if you Sorry, I just... Box, you can figure out what type they are. Okay, um, so as it says, they form from other rocks. So metamorphic rocks, um, metamorphic or metamorphose or metamorphize, all those mean to change. Okay, so we take a, another type of rock. They, we can take igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks and turn them into metamorphic rocks. Okay, so we can change. So metamorphic rocks can be metamorphic rocks. Yep. Metamorphic then is there another rocks metamorphic? can be metamorphosed into another type of metamorphic. So rock. would metamorphic? <laughs> What's metamorphic? metamorphic rocks just keep changing and changing? So metamorphic rock is any <laughs> rock that has been changed. Oh, that pressure. has been changed. Yes. So we can have oh. one that's been changed that gets changed again. So diamonds. Um, so you mean like kind of. if it's got. It's a little round rock, round rock, and it can change to like the shape of a fish. Be a so maybe, but not necessarily the shape. Okay, so. Starving. Um, Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? So, metamorphic rocks are they're changed by heat and pressure. Okay, so pressure and heat are the two things that change rocks into different types. Okay, so we've got two types of metamorphism. We've got regional metamorphism and contact metamorphism. Okay. Hang on, let me make a copy of this. Jeez, what do you have? My notes on my rocks. Okay, so regional and contact. Regional metamorphism happens over very large areas. Okay. Like a region. Like a whole region. Okay. Um, and they usually produce foliated metamorphic rocks. Okay. Foliated. So we'll get into what foliated means, but in general it means that they have lines. So this is a foliated rock. Oh. Okay. So regional metamorphism usually makes foliated rocks. Can I hold that? Okay. Yes. Foliated. And places that foliated rocks where this regional ha happens, one example is like in mountain ranges. So at the base of the mountains when mountains are being built, underneath it there's a lot of heat and pressure and the rocks can be changed or metamorphosed is that what, like, you know, when you're driving out toward Cody, and then there's like those sticking out? Not necessarily. That's, okay, so but that's more of rocks that get pushed up. When you drive through the canyon and you see the rocks that are all bendy and curvy and stuff, those are metamorphic rocks because they've been pressured and, and they bend and foliate just like that. They get those lines in them. Okay, so foliated rocks are made from regional rocks. Yeah, are generally so regional rocks that usually make foliated down. metamorphic rocks. This is a pretty rock. Okay, um, so heat and pressure. As you go deeper into the Earth's crust, the temperature increases. Have you ever seen that movie, The yes. Core? No, I've seen Journey to the Center yeah. of the Earth. Okay, so yeah, The Core so yeah. is a horrible science movie. It's lots of things are incorrect, but one thing they get correct is the deeper you go, the hotter it gets. Okay, <laughs> so the deeper and deeper you go into the Earth, it gets very very hot. The same is true with pressure. The deeper you go into the Earth's crust, the more pressure you have. It's like the ocean. So heat and pressure is where these form. So if we have a mountain range we're building it down here underneath the mountain range, it can be very hot and very high pressure. That's where metamorphic rocks will form. What kind of... Oh, do any like jewels form under mountains? You can. I mean, one example that was given is diamonds. Diamonds require a lot of pressure. I thought well, those I were in my volcano. But they're not necessarily a rock. They're more of a mineral because they're made up of only one thing. Where rocks are multiple minerals. Yes. Oh, what kind of minerals are in this rock? Um, we'll talk about that. Okay. Um, so we have contact oh metamorphism. God. Contact metamorphism results from igneous intrusion. So like if a volcano is forming and the magma gets pushed up, it gets hot around the outside edge of that magma. But it doesn't necessarily melt the rock. Okay, so contact metamorphism is mostly just heat. Okay, where lava or, or magma comes through, it will heat up the rocks next to that, and that can cause contact metamorphism. This does not usually produce um, foliation. Usually there's no grain foliation. Like, so there's not lines. Does obsidian form from that? No, obsidian is an igneous rock. Only, right? Oh, wait, we already talked about that. Yeah. Um, okay. So. so Contact metamorphism 
does not usually produce body ash as to where regional morphism does. Usually does. What Wait, does not produce what? Foliation. Or foliated Foliation. rocks. Meaning rocks with those lines in it. And the reason is, is because regional metamorphism has a lot of pressure, which causes those lines to stack up. Contact metamorphism just has high temperatures, so there's no pressure, or not as much pressure, to make them build the lines. Okay? Um, so, again, regional metamorphism is a lot of heat and a lot of pressure. It happens deep in the Earth's crust. Contact metamorphism is usually just heat um, and not very much pressure, and they usually happen um, near the surface, shallow depths. I don't have that. It's on the classroom website. Okay, so foliated. Foliated are, are any of these that have lines in them. So like this one and the one that Sierra has are foliated rocks. So what's foliated is, is, auto, is it automatically a metamorphic? Yes. Oh. Yes. Um, so. But. But. But what happens, it's like, so the minerals get aligned. They all get put in the same line. So it's like if you're ever in a big crowd and everybody's trying to go one way, but you want to go the other way. Um, it's very, very difficult, right? So what happens is when the, the minerals are usually all different directions, but when they get under heat and pressure, they all get lined up. Just like when you're in a big crowd, everybody gets pushed in the same direction. What do minerals look like? So uh, they're usually in like a crystal form or, you know, different arrangements of atoms. <coughs> okay, well, um, uh, so they are all minerals that have been there's some the minerals, direction. but then there's some minerals inside those minerals. Um, so minerals are like the building blocks. So like Legos, Legos, Lego each, those are minerals. You build them into your rock. Okay. Um, so the different colors are different types of minerals that have been put and pushed. Yeah, but you said they like they line up. That's why they're like lines because they go with what their other minerals are. No, they don't necessarily oh. move around. Just wherever they are, they might be opposite directions. They get flat, and that's what makes them lines. So we have other rocks that are made up of all made up of minerals, but the lines aren't there. Okay. <laughs> So let's do foliation. So foliation, they show up as lines or banding are created by the reorientation of minerals by the increased heat and pressure. Non-foliated usually don't have bands or lines. So I'm going to show you some that are non-foliated. Um, so this is marble. Marble's a metamorphic rock. It's non-foliated. This one has some foliation. foliation. This is like sediment. Non-foliation. This is coal that's been metamorphosed. Um, it's got no wow. foliation. Okay, really so a number this of those have no foliation. Some do, but some don't. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh. Um, I like this one. I have a necklace made of this one. On, so on the track, no, probably not on the grass. Okay. Shiny All right, um, so determining the age of metamorphic rocks. So again, just like with igneous, we aren't talking a whole lot about this radiometric dating. This. You just said you're showing. I said I'm going to show unfolded. you some that are non-foliated. This one is foliated. So these are non-foliated. Oh, this is not. These are some. This is one that's still foliated. This is going to have a big count. I just find this one that has bands. Where's the computer in the way? It's in the of our house. If you see a rock that has bands or lines like this, Okay, so determining yeah, the age of hold metamorphic up, hold rocks. Up, hold up, hold up. What about, what about, what about, where's that one? It's foliated. Okay. Um, so, oh, okay. determine the age of metamorphic rocks. We still use radiometric dating to determine radio, the age. Radio. Radiometric radio. or radioactive dating. Either one is correct. Okay. Um, so, just like with our igneous rocks, once they cool, the timer or the clock starts. Same thing is true with metamorphic rocks. Once they cool to a certain point, then they we can start the timer basically. Okay, um, and we will talk a lot next week about radioactive dating, radiometric dating, and exactly how it works. Um, but again, these are once they cool, the timer starts. Identifying them, um, we look for bands. That's an easy way to find them: bands or lines or any type of deformation. So if you look in the canyon, the places where rocks are all bendy. Um, and they have lines, and those are metamorphic rocks. Um, marble, if you have marble countertops at home, that's a metamorphic rock. Granite, that's an igneous rock, but you might have granite countertops as well. Um, so, identifying them, I put... Wait, oh, okay. 
You look stubborn. I put the table of rocks stubborn? up there, so four foliated and four non foliated. So I know I'm stubborn, <laughs> but how am I being stubborn right now? All the foliated ones come from regional metamorphism, and all the non foliated come from either contact or regional Are there metamorphisms in there that are not foliated? Yeah, I'm not positive. Wait, no, what? there is a foliated one. Uh, there might be one that's so, like pictures are cool. Okay. Um, so, and then See, we have the parent right rock. So, again, they change from another type of rock. So we show the parent rock um, and what they can come. So you'll notice that this is a metamorphic rock, slate, but it can also be the parent rock for schist. So slate, a metamorphic rock, can turn into schist, which is another metamorphic rock. Okay, so we'll see that. And again, we can see that schist can become nice. Nice. Okay, so they can change. Metamorphic rocks can become other metamorphic rocks. Well, make it click create. So what I would do, if I were you, is I would get pictures of all those rocks, like I've left a spot for the image. Um, and you can use those to identify hey, you guys. your types Pasha. of rocks. Pasha. Okay, so I've got pictures of them all here. Um, I would do the same so you guys can have flashcards or whatever, so you can identify them. Last thing I want to look at is this last picture that's on your notes, um, this diagram. So on this side it shows the depth into the Earth's crust, so you can see that rocks are going deeper and deeper. On here we have the temperature or how hot they are. Um, this dotted line, everything above that is set up, will form sedimentary rocks. Everything below that will form metamorphic rocks. And this lines on the side, any time you have heat and pressure that falls in there, those will melt. So those will then become igneous rocks because they melt into magma. Okay. So, so just, just so you understand this. Rocks used to be liquid. Yep. It's like so. Go watch the Discovery Channel and you'll see some Okay, um, so let's look at this. So we can see that we have shale, which is a sedimentary rock. Um, as it gets deeper and has more temperature, it becomes slate, um, which is a sedimentary rock. This is slate. Okay, so this slate um, can then become schist, which this is schist. Okay, so this rock could have become this rock. Not necessarily this exact rock to this exact rock, but a type of slate could have become this type of schist. How do you spell schist? S-C-H-I-S-T. Aw, oh, dang it. Not as close as you would have. <laughs> um, and then that schist can even become this rock, which is nice. Okay? Nice. So from nice. slate to schist, G-N-E-I-S-S. -E -S. -E nice. Nice. Yes. G N E I S S. Hold up, hold up. So slate. Slis, no, slate yeah, can yeah, become yeah, schist. Not, schist be, can, can become nice. So, so as we increase heat and pressure. So apparently, the other night I slate becomes nice. Nice. Uh, I mean, nice. Can. nice. If it continues to go deeper into the earth and continues to get even hotter. Oh. Okay. So but if you look at this, nice. Like, whatever. And that's also nice. It's supposed to be nice. It's supposed nice to be very well. sarcastic. Um, if. So this was 30, up 25 to 30 kilometers under the earth. So that's almost the distance to Warland. Tokyo. So imagine driving to Warland, but then take that and go straight down to the earth. So that rock that you have was that far under the earth at some point. And it's made its way back up through... You know, you look um, I don't I'm debating it right now. Remember. Why? Do I post Does all slate look somewhat like that? Yes, yeah, so even in this picture you see slate, there's multiple colors of slate, but it's all breaks flat, and it's all... There can be different colors, but it's all flat and breaks out in these sheets, basically. And it all has a consistent color throughout it. Okay. It forms from shale, which is a sedimentary rock. Crap. Okay, any questions? Yes. Can I shut the flip camera off? You can shut up whenever you want. Sweet.